All right, we got Raw to talk about here tonight, which I thought was going along pretty well until we hit the uh, about two, about hour and a half mark, I would say. The Baron Corbin match. Holy smokes, I about fell asleep from that point forward. That match went on forever. Yeah, it was for, for a guy who they're trying to get over as like a big star, they decided... <laughs> to have him wrestle for an hour. <clears throat> it was like 13, 14 minutes, right? 13 and a half minutes. But I think the idea was is that they wanted to prove by using Dolph Ziggler, bringing Ziggler back, they wanted to bring him in to prove to people that he could, instead of like running over guys, you know, like in a debut and just like looking like a monster, they wanted to show that he's a really good wrestler and he's got a bad rap and they were going to put him in there and have a great match. And the match was fine, but it was not a great match either. And I did feel, you know, it did, I don't want to say it was bad or anything, but it did feel like it was too long for the story they were trying to tell. And, you know, and he's managed by JBL. So JBL is back as his mouthpiece and, they're trying to like push that he's like the second coming of God, you know? I mean, when they've actually used that term, he's the new God of wrestling, you know, right after gotcha, I guess, right? And, um, so I guess, you know, with JBL there, he's probably going to get a big push. And they explained that he was a, he was traded for Rey Mysterio, which sounds like a, um, you know, um, JBL was talking about like it was like the the trade when the the Boston Red Sox traded Babe Ruth, and um, actually it's the trade that that um, you know where the, the where the the Yankees um, I mean the Yan whoever the Yankees sent to Boston in exchange for Babe Ruth is probably a closer um, uh, description of what this trade was. So JBL comes down to the ring and he. This guy can talk. Let me tell you. This guy can cut a promo. And he got a lot of he got a lot of heat with the Texas Oklahoma stuff, which he buried, is really yep. it's really easy to do, you know, in Texas and Oklahoma because of the football rivalry. So it's you know, easy it's, heat, but man, that guy's got great delivery. He oh, was yeah. really good on this show. Yeah. And he did commentary later and it was like, maybe they should just hire this guy, because he's great. So anyway, he uh, you know talked about how he was going to introduce his newest uh, Raw's newest edition because Ray had been drafted to SmackDown or traded to SmackDown. Traded. So uh, out comes Baron Corbin. Hmm. He is no longer happy. He is now Baron Corbin, and they run down Dolph Ziggler, and this leads to Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler, and there were two problems here. There were three problems here. Problem number one was it was Baron Corbin. Problem number two was it was Dolph Ziggler. And problem number three was I got 14 minutes. And man, this just went on and on. And yeah, it was no, fine. It was I mean, okay. it was fine, but there was nothing. There was nothing. There was there was really there was like nothing bad about this match at all. They did. There's advise. nothing wrong with the match in a vacuum, but dude, nobody cared about this match they because they already him. don't care about Baron Corbin. They, they never care about Ziggler because he never does anything. Yeah, and it went on an eternity. I, I don't know. I just thought it was. Uh... It was it was like it was a by the book match. It was like if you pictured a match with these two guys where they gave Ziggler a bunch of near falls, you know, where Corbin kicked out of his super kick and Corbin kicked out of his zigzag, you know, and he kicked out of Corbin's um uh what's the first one? The deep six, and then, you know, finally Corbin hits the end of days. I mean it's 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 almost exactly like you would envision a match with these two, but it was longer and they did go through commercial break and Yeah, but here's uh, the deal. I've been watching his Happy Corbin, and it was a stupid gimmick. He entertained me as Happy Corbin, but it's it's a limiting gimmick. Yep. So now you're going to reintroduce they, this guy as they, Baron Corbin on Raw, and you want me to care. And this literally was the, like, you, you couldn't have done worse except maybe beat him. I guess that would have been worse. But I did not care one bit about this new. Well, like Baron I said, Corbin I mean, like, the the idea is is they they have your two choices. Okay, when the, for the debut, you either have him go through and murder the guy, and then people will go, oh, you know, like uh, whatever, and and they may have needed time for the show, and they 
probably feel that Dolph Ziggler is a great worker and, and he'll make the match really exciting. And he was good. I thought Ziggler was good in the match, but I don't think that it really worked because I don't think that, um, it wasn't that in, um, whatever it was, it was, the crowd was fine with it, but they weren't super hot with it. And it almost took the edge off, I think, a little bit by going that long. So, um, you know, I can see what the mentality was and, and why you would think it would work. Didn't, I don't think it fully worked though, but I don't think there's anything bad, you know, bad about it either. It just didn't, didn't click at a high level. It just was kind of there. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.